A there, this is D. Yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty much in the dark here, as I particularly mind. Yeah, so this is, uh, well, this is Earth Hour, and for once you can actually see me, because this time I actually thought of getting candles. But then, since I don't have any chandeliers, it's not one of those uh, long ones, uh, so I so if I want to walk around freely and be sure not to waste any candles by placing as many as I humanly, inhumanly can around the house, well, I kind of had to improvise. I suppose getting uh, creme brulee from the stores pays off after all. So, anyway, well, Seeing as I actually do have candles, I guess I can actually fill my time. Uh, so I wouldn't be bored bored to death, or actually... Uh, well, if you've seen my last videos where I, where I spent Earth Hour, well... Well, you see, you, you'd know how bored I get, but this time I actually have some light, so... Well, I can actually read some... Thing... <sighs> Uh, this, I can actually continue reading the sequel to uh, Midnight's Daughter. Yeah, I know what I've said before. That wasn't particularly a good book, but... But what I also said is that I actually began reading this book. Uh, but then I found out it's a sequel, so I had to read the original first. And now I can actually finish reading the sequel. And any of you who expects a review from this will... Well, I'm not gonna make a review about this book, or at least I don't think I am going to, because from what I've read so far, well, I suppose this book has been an improvement uh, since the last one, but although it still has quite a few faults, but, but anyway, if I were to make a video about that, it, it would be just too brief, so I'm not gonna bother. Oh well. Anyway, so much for the introduction. Uh, so the rest of this video is pretty much going to be me trying to live, uh, live through the hour. Yeah, I realize this isn't the most conventional way of reading a book, although... Well, if I place the candles here, which would seem safer, well... Well, I can't actually see the text this way, and... And even if I could, well, keep it too close, and, and well, you can uh, guess the outcome, so. It's really like this. I can actually see the text. It does kind of make me wonder how people used, used to use candles way back when, when they wanted to read something. Well, I'm guessing at the time they didn't use this type. Hmm. Well, I suppose with the lights, not being able to use the lights right now, you really don't know what you're missing until you, until it's gone. As much as obvious. Okay, so that earlier method I was using is not exactly working out, because, um, well, well, sitting down the way I did without any, any uh, support for my back, well, it's kind of painful. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I'm using a chair as a table. Why don't I just sit on the chair? And I suppose that, that would be the logical thing to do, but, but then where do I put the candles? I mean, in this very room, I don't even have a table. Well, I have a table in another room, yes, but, well, if you're gonna read a book, do it someplace you're comfortable. And in that other room where I do have a table to set all this, well, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. Uh, so instead, well, I guess I'm gonna have to take this thing lying down.
Okay, so I so I decided Well I can't spend an entire hour just plain reading a book. Especially if I'm making a video about this, so why don't I do something a little more interesting? I'm sure something that most of you have done before is especially when there's candles is well may not try to touch the fire but at least well get some of this some of this candle grease on your fingers. And well, once it's dried, we'll pretty much peel them off again. Well, not particularly exciting, I'll admit to that. However, one thing that's one thing that's it is sort of interesting to try as well. Why not pick one of these matches you used in lighting the candle, dip it in some of this candle grease, and, well, light it up. Well, it may not see much right now, but if you try it, you'd get a quite a large flame. <laughs> Here's a fun fact. It is said that the the longest ad ever made lasts about seven hours. Now I'm not sure what it's advertising, but the ad in question is about well a candle that is burning up. Hey, you ever heard of how people often say they see some kind of spark or some kind of or a, that somebody's eyes are lighting up at under certain circumstances and I never quite understood what that means uh, nor do I understand right now but but under these specific circumstances well circumstances well with uh, having candles here and then being reflected uh, in my uh, shades here. Well, you can't actually see my eyes. You can notice a light in them. They are, as it were, lighting up right now. Well, got about a minute left until uh, until this hour's over. So um. Yeah, what to do? Well, I suppose this is the moment where I'm supposed to uh, say something memorable, you know, so, sort of like a like a an end of the year speech or something along those lines. Eh. Well, how's that for something memorable? Well, uh, If I was gonna make a speech, I'll have to wait for next time. This was D. I'm signing off.